mothers are dying. Mothers are dying all over the world. And more importantly, mothers are dying in the developing countries like Bangladesh. Every year, about 7,000 of our mothers are dying from different causes. About 50% of these deaths are due to only two reasons. These are postpartum hemorrhage and eclampsia. And we know how to prevent and manage these causes of deaths. Interestingly, Bangladesh has made tremendous progress over the last several decades. In 1991, the maternal mortality ratio was 576 per 100,000 live birth in Bangladesh, which came down to 322 in 2001. And in 2010, Bangladesh Maternal Mortality Survey, we have seen it has, been come, it has come down over 40 percent to 194 per 100,000 live birth. What a commendable achievement. And Bangladesh is one of the rare countries which are very much on track in achieving MDG 5 target to be attained in 2015. We are on track. Let us look at what are the contributing factors which have helped us to reach at this level of maternal mortality. Definitely all the governments in Bangladesh in the past several decades has been very consistent in investing and focusing on the program side to address maternal mortality and morbidity. There have been excellent geo-NGO collaboration and supported by development partners. We have seen that even the different governments were very consistently and contributing towards increasing the female education. There were microcredit schemes and foreign remittance coming in, which is the highest GDP earner, which helped increasing and enhancing the buying capacity that resulted into more and more care seeking for health, health problems. And overall, there had been fertility decline. Fertility decline has contributed towards 25 percent of the 40 percent decline of maternal mortality ratio. However, this decline of maternal mortality was not equal all over the country. Bangladesh apparently may be a small country. Someone may think that it is a homogeneous country which is very densely populated. But if you look at the seven administrative divisions and look at the differentials of maternal mortality, you will see that at the upper right corner, the northeastern division of Silet has a very high mortality which is shown in red, 425 per 100,000 live birth. Go down to south and move to the west, you will see that the maternal mortality is almost near somewhere like a level of Kerala in South India. It is about 64 per 100,000 life birth. What a big difference within a small country. Let us look at other features of geographical inequity, which is very important in terms of addressing, modifying and adjusting the policy and the program. These two, two charts actually shows two very important indicator which contributes towards maternal mortality reduction antenatal care seeking from medically trained providers and delivery at facilities. We are seeing the yellow bar and the gray bar which shows the highest level of, of antenatal care seeking and delivery at facility in Kulna, the division that you have seen having very low maternal mortality. But in the division which had the highest mortality of maternal mortality actually shows very low coverage of both the indicators. And this inequity is more than 100 percent between the lowest and the highest performing divisions. The same feature stays in the other indicators as well. This is delivery in facility and delivery in skilled attendance. You see that the eastern and the western half of the country, if you divide arbitrarily through a vertical line, that the difference is 100 percent. If you look at the total fertility rate between the eastern and the western half, which is a very important contributor towards maternal mortality, still the eastern half is performing very low. In terms of under 5 mortality, we see that the eastern and the western half has a 70 percent difference. In terms of postnatal care, there is a slightly different features, but again if you draw a line in the middle of the country horizontally, you will see that the lower half, the southern half actually performs worse than the northern half. This geographical disparity actually is consistent over several indicators like as I have shown medically trained providers, delivery at facility and also in terms of protection against tetanus. All through consistently the highest performer is the lowest mortality division that is Kulna 
and the lowest performer is the highest mortality division of select. I have talked about so far about the geographical disparity using the divisional example. Now, if we move even further down, go further deep and take as example a cross section of this district which is Hobiganj, another northeastern district and look at the sub district differentials of maternal mortality indicated by facility delivery, we will see a very big difference even within a district between the sub districts. You see that the mortal, uh, the delivery facility rate is low as low as 10 percent in some subdivisions and as high as more than 20 percent in some of the sub districts. The programs need to address this differential. Let us look at another aspect of uh, inequity. This is inequity in quality of care. We are taking an example of C section deliveries. Overall in the country from the population based survey, we see 17 percent of the total deliveries are happening by C section. Now, if we look at the differential between the private sector and the public sector, we will see in the public sector the overall C section delivery rate is 40 percent, when the private sector deliveries 73 percent of these deliveries are happening by C section and only 28 percent of the C section deliveries happening in the NGO sector. What a difference. Let us look at other aspect of the C section rate. This chart is showing C section rate by socioeconomic quintile very interestingly the rate of C section increases as the care seeking mother and the family gets richer. Definitely that is not medical indication that is clear inequity. This is another feature between urban and rural inequities, urban and rural differential between the BDHS 20, 2007 and 2011 we are using the indicator of 4 plus antenatal care which is recommended by the country's program we see in the rural areas the rate of increase between the two point surveys are only 2 percent, whereas in the urban areas the increase is more than 8 percentage points. That means, the program the maternal mortality reduction program approach is reaching more to the urban population than the rural ones who are in need. This is another aspect of, uh, of addressing the inequity effort in Bangladesh. One of the indicators that is being used is the rich poor ratio and as you see between 2004 survey, 2007 survey and that in 2011 that consistently the rich poor ratio has been decreasing from 1 is to 13 to 1 is to 8 to 1 is to 6. But interestingly if you look at this set of the slide you will see that the lower 3 quintiles are still way below the national average. What does that indicate? that indicates that our poor people, poorer section of the society are not reaching the health facilities. And why they are not reaching the health facilities? Maybe there are not enough health workforce there. Maybe there is not enough skill to handle the medical causes of death. Maybe there is not enough welcoming staff health workforce in those facilities. Facilities may be on only infrastructures not providing the soft care which is needed by the population. So, what we learn from all this inequity in the small country? Definitely the program has to come up with a different approach. We call it differential programming and that is not universal. There are three different facets of the universal of the differential programming. There are three different facets of differential programming. One is the geographic differential as you have seen the geographical inequity. There must be a strategy to address the socio-economic differential to reach the poor population, to attract the poor population to the care seeking structure, the health systems. And of course, the focus should be on the epidemiologic differential. As we know the causes of death, we should invest more in addressing the causes which are contributing towards substantial proportion of the causal uh, distribution of deaths. There must be efficient and more investment of the management in the underperforming areas and underperforming uh, issues. Investment in human resources, investment in health systems should be much more where the need is more. There should be increased quality of care, otherwise the facilities will not be able to attract more and more poor section of the society. Stronger monitoring and supervision should be provided at all levels and overall there should be increased accountability and accountability throughout the health systems to address the inefficiency and to reduce the overall inequity in the programs. Thank you.